can usually pick one or two shows that are like older, what we're catching up on to watch, and then whatever is during the season we'll pick up. And this season, there's nothing that I'm watching left for. All of, all of them I'm watching. I went over in a past video, and it's just me. Um, so we've been watching a lot of our like catch up shows. So watching Assassination Classroom, and we just finished Konosuba last night, the movie. Uh, so I'm just gonna give my thoughts. It might not be that long of a video, but give my thoughts and tap this. My mouth. I'm using a pen, but my nails are also kind of long right now. I just gotta have a shower. I feel like my nails always are super long. I gotta have a shower. Um, but yeah, so Konosuba was hilarious. Um, I, I didn't really know what to expect going into it. I haven't actually watched too many isekais. But it was very funny. We really enjoyed it a lot. It's my favorite or anything. I, yeah, I don't think it has like this like super connection. I don't have a super connection with it, but it is good, and I, I can't wait to see more of it. I know in spring has a prequel series about Megamine, and then I think season three is coming out later this year or even next year. Um, yeah, they're all funny. I love at the end of like every season and like the end of the movie. It goes like wild with the animation, and it's like extremely cool animation and action sequences. Um, but it's also hilarious, and it's very you know, it's very crude. It's probably the crudest like anime I think I like enjoyed. So because sometimes you we watch stuff to just like make fun of it, but like it's a legitimately good show, but also very yeah, a lot of fan service. But the fan service is I don't know. It's part of the fun in, the, in a different way like at least for us it's just funny rather than like sometimes fan service feels like it's like so in your face that it feels like a joke or a parody um the dog is just walking slowly behind me uh but yeah it's super great season one was great you know it's definitely like a comfy show um i feel like i liked season one more even though I found season two funny. I think just like the comfiness of season one, I liked it more. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure why. Once if I ever rewatch it, I'll maybe I'll, I'll understand why, but the action sequence in the final episode of um, season two was incredible. And the movie was extremely funny. It actually had like a really heartwarming moment. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah, it ends kind of heartwarming, which the series doesn't do that often, or at all, um, which I like. I think that's kind of what makes great series even better, or when they they don't just cram it full of everything. Like, it's not, it doesn't get serious all too often, but then it kind of does. After episodes and episodes, it does for the first time, and it like, really impacts you because it's so different for these characters. So, Kosuba, I recommend heavy on the fan service. show you a watch for your parents um but it's hilarious it is very funny and the action is pretty fun um and then another one is assassination classroom we're almost done with it. there's two episodes left of season one um it's really enjoyable i, I, I think i probably enjoy it more than konosuba i mean they're not comparable but as far as like we're watching at the same time uh I definitely like it more, and it's a similar thing. It feels comfy, and like every episode is kind of like, oh, here's the story of this student and how the um, Koro Sensei like works with that student. But if you don't know what Sashnay's a classroom is, it's basically just this alien that blew up the moon, and um, it's an absurd premise. But he gets put in this classroom, and he says, oh, "I need to teach this specific class for a year, or I'll blow up the Earth." And then he agrees to have the students try to kill him. So if they, they kill him, if they kill me, they kill me. But I want to teach in this class, but in a year I'm going to blow up the earth. So the government sets up a thing where the kids are trained to, to assassinate him. It's absurd, but it's really heartwarming. Like pretty much every episode has like a heartfelt moment. It's very funny. The dub and the sub is good. We watched the sub, but I'm watching Reaction Channel at Blind Wave. Uh, watch the dub, and it's very funny. Good. I'm excited. I'm excited to get to 
be into season one, but also um, season two as well. Yeah, it's good. It has something if you're in thing right now, but I think if it ends good, and I think I heard it does, it's a good ending. I think it'll be a memorable one for me. Um, but yeah, that's it. That has like, it's funny. It's very similar to Curse Super, just like it's super funny. It's pretty cool action. And there's some heartwarming moments, but it has more heartwarming moments than, than Konosuba. And if you don't know, Konosuba is basically it's an isekai about this guy, uh, Kazuma, and he goes to this world after he dies, and all of his like party members are like incompetent. It's it's almost like a parody of isekais, but from what I believe, is one of the first isekais to come out, um, or like the first big ones, one of the first big ones up there with like ReZero and. Mushoku Tensei, I, I forget what, how that one's called, I haven't watched that, um, I love ReZero though, but yeah, he's like, his party members, it's like, I saw someone describe it online, it's 100% true, it's like a group of like drunk friends playing D&D, like nothing goes as planned, and they all have like, like, Megami in the one character, she has like incredible explosion magic, she like basically just drops a nuke, but then she passes out and she can't do anything for the rest of the day, so, yeah, it's just they're all like incompetent and it's really funny and when they come together there's like moments of like oh wow they're awesome together they somehow make it work uh, so that's that show uh, but I, as far as these guys i've only watched re-zero on that one and uh i definitely i love re-zero it's one of my favorite just action shonen in general it's probably my favorite in general um i think the only one that would compete with it is hunter hunter and maybe mob but i definitely like hunter hunter and Zero probably it's probably neck and neck for me. Um, yeah, Mass Class. It's a great show. I definitely like. I get excited to watch it. There's something about it that I'm just excited, I'm excited to see where it goes. And like, I'm so curious how it ends. You know. Um, yeah. I could talk about more about the series at length when we finish it. I have a feeling because there's a lot of cool things to probably dissect with how the story unfolds. Um, yeah. Just finished those. All right, we finished Konosuba. So we're actually gonna start oh, One Piece, uh, which is wild, and who knows how long it's gonna take. But yeah, we're gonna start One Piece. So we'll see what happens. I, I, I don't I don't know anything about it really, besides that it's long and, and the main characters like power. But yeah, my wife has watched the first like twenty episodes. Just, I've heard so many good things about it, and I feel this sense of like a FOMO of like when the series does end, I'd love to be a part of that. It's gonna be a, a huge, I mean, when One Piece ends, that's gonna be an incredible moment in pop culture, and it's like I want to be there for that in the sense of like I want to be caught up with the anime and the manga too, but I, I don't typically read action and I'm a shonen manga. So for the anime, like I would love to just be there for the finale, and like that'd be a really wild moment to kind of be a part of. So that's the biggest reason I'm, I'm curious about starting it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's not long, nine minutes. Um, so the tapping was cool too. My nails allow me to kind of get a good sound, I think. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video.